Hi, in this video we're going to build off of the work that we did in two prior videos, namely how to build a deck of cards and how to build an analyzer for a five card poker hand. Uh, we're going to build off of those two videos to uh, effectively learn what we need to do to build a hand analyzer for Texas Hold'em. Uh, we will not be doing any, you know, the pots and the, um, uh, you know, pot management and, um, you know, table management, position management, or any of that yet. Uh, really, we're just going to focus on uh, comparing two Hold'em hands um, and classifying uh, the five hard, the five card hand that would be uh, that can be extracted out of the uh, two whole cards and the five community cards of a poker hand. Okay, and I'm going to follow the same style. The code's been written. I'm just going to go through it uh, here in my IDE, and I will provide links in the description box to uh, the resources and the source code. Um, yeah, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so um, one thing that I did, I'd like to call your attention to here is uh, on the left hand side where my mouse cursor is, uh, is that I have uh, broken my source code out into uh, sort of cleaner package structure. So you can see here I have card, card game, com card games, and underneath there I have a uh, package for cards, which consists of the card class, the deck class, rank and suit. Um, not much changed uh, since the last time we looked in here. I just provided a few more additional um, convenience methods on the deck class. Uh, you know, the, tell me what the size of the deck is and whether it contains a particular card. Uh, everything else, though, is the same. So that's review. Um, now, here in the poker package, uh, we can see that we have a, pa a package inside of here called Five Card Poker. Uh, Hold'em and Shared. So first I want to start by looking at what's inside of Shared uh, because really this contains the interfaces that need to be implemented uh, in uh, five card poker hand and Hold'em or any other kind of uh, poker ha uh, hand that we're talking about here. Uh, so the first interface I want to look at here is Hand. Uh, you'll notice there's two implementations, five card poker hand and Hold'em. Five card po poker hand uh, basically is the implementation that we um, yeah, corresponds to what we built in the last video on poker. Uh, I just sort of extracted out an interface and you'll see what uh, is involved there. Hold'em hand is the new Hold'em hand that we're trying to manage here. Uh, so right, so uh, you just basically, a hand consists of a hand analyzer. Um, at least it must have a hand analyzer. Um, uh, and a hand analyzer uh, has a way of getting back the cards, um, uh, providing a way of retrieving the classification for the, the given hand, for the given cards that we have, right? A pair, a set, a flush, um, a straight, etc., etc. Uh, we also have uh, this new, these new two new classes, rank group and suit group. We saw these in the last video as uh, just sort of their, the raw construct of a, a map of rank to a list of cards and a map of a suit to a list of cards. Uh, so I just broke that out here into its own class, and we'll um, look at that here in a second. And I've also introduced this uh, interface called the hand, hand classifier, uh, which basically will uh, return a classification um, Right, and so that's the, that's really the only uh, requirement is that a classifier can classify, <laughs> and so we'll see that what we're really classifying here are uh, uh, a set of cards uh, at, into a poker hand. Um, so uh, quickly here, the rank group, as I mentioned, uh, is just a map of rank to a list of cards, and the calculation. We saw this calculation here in the last video. Um, that we do here, it's really important. This is, uh, makes our code very easy uh, to, to classify hands uh, with the rank group uh, and the suit group here, which basically uh, will just group by the suit and uh, return an immutable collection, okay? Um, 
So where to look next? Let's go to the hold of hand, right? And uh, this is one of our main objects, right? So the first thing to look at is the builder for the hold of hand. The builder uh, keeps track of the whole cards and the community cards, right? And you're able to add to the whole cards and add to the community cards. Um, and you can either add a set of optional cards or just a single optional card. And, um, you know, the behavior is very simple. If the optional does not have a, a card inside of it, if it's empty, then you're going to throw an exception. Otherwise, you're just going to collect them into a, the community cards uh, member field here. And then finally, when you come to build, you're just going to run some checks. You're going to make sure that the um, full card size uh, is valid, right? That there's only two uh, cards in the whole, whole cards, uh, right? And that there's uh, five cards in the community cards. And then if you have that, then you can go ahead and initialize, you know, invoke the constructor here. And so here we just say this dot hand analyzer is equal to new and I actually don't know why it's got this explicit. Yeah. Okay, so here we say this dot handle analyzer is equal to new hold'em hand analyzer, right? Which takes in the community cards and the whole cards separately. So um, we can dig into there and we can say this, you know, as I pointed out, the hold the hand analyzer this implements the hand analyzer interface. We keep track of separately the whole cards, the community cards the combined cards, we'll see why in, in, in a minute, um, the hand classification, the rank group, and the suit group, right? So we'll come into this constructor, uh, we will establish the whole cards and the community cards, the combined cards, it's, it's just exactly what you would think. It's um, literally just taking the whole cards and the community cards and putting them into a new sorted set and then returning that as an unmodifiable. Um, construct the rank group and the suit group based on the combined cards, right? So we that's um, really the group by is happening on the combined cards for the Hold'em Hand Analyzer. And then lastly, we will call PokerHandUtils.ClassifyPokerHand and we'll pass in the rank group, the suit group, and the cards. So let's climb into here and what we'll see is that um, we're going to create this Poker Hand classifier Right? This is the thing that this class implements the hand classifier uh, interface, which had the classify method on it. Okay? And um, basically what we do here is that we, this is what our classify method does. Our, we will classify the hand, right? R return a classification, and then uh, we'll validate the cards from the class, cl uh, classification, the classification consists of, you know, the, the, the classification rank and the cards that we're classifying, okay? So we'll validate those cards and then simply return them, right? So detect impl basically will say, hey, do I have a royal flush? Uh, if yes, it's gonna, you're going to return one of these results. If otherwise, we're going to jump into detect straight flush wheel, right? Same kind of pattern, right? So it's just this fall through, right? We will we will fall through if we don't detect any one of these things, all the way down to, you know, all the way down, all the way down to pair is pair, and lastly, it, um, calculate high card. So that's what the that's the job of the poker hand classifier, okay? Um, so, you know, if you wanted, you can go through and see how am I detecting whether or not you have uh, a, a particular hand classification, say a flush. Well, it's actually important the order in which you do the checks, right? So I actually want to check the most restricted hand, uh, like a royal flush, because if you think about it, a royal flush is a special case of a straight flush and a straight flush is just a special case of a straight or a special case of a flush. Um, so it really matters the order in which you do the detection. So you have to sort of do it from the most restricted 
uh, case in the Venn diagram all the way out to the more um, sort of uh, more loosely defined case, right? So the royal flush, it's real simple. We take the cards and we put them in a, in a list. The reason why we do that, because the cards that we have are immutable, so we can't modify them. We put them in this hand cards list and we say, hey, uh, if, you, if the hand cards contain all of the cards for a royal fl flush, the spade royal flush, then go ahead and keep only those cards and return a classification of royal flush with those cards in it, right? So, so really what we want to do is we want, when we build our classification, we only want to keep the cards that are contributing to a five-card poker hand. We are keeping track of, outside of the classifier, we are keeping track of the other cards, the whole cards and the community cards and such, but we just want the classification to include the cards that um, participate in the five-card poker hand, right? So when you come out of this uh, classifier and you go back to um, the Hold'em Hand Analyzer, right, you will have a classification and from the classification you can get at the cards that are par participating in the five card poker hand, which should be a five cards, right? And that's why we'll, in this poker hand utils method we saw that um, we saw that uh, we were, let me see, there was a place where we were doing the validation of the poker hands. I don't remember where that was, we'll come back to that. Um, so right, so right, so we see that we have three packages here, five card poker hand, hold them, um, uh, excuse me, five card poker, hold them, and shared. Um, Right? There's uh, three interfaces that I introduced that must be implemented. We have a poker hand classifier that works both for um, five card poker and for hold'em. That's because we the classifier has classified the five card poker, the five cards in the poker hand that are um, live that are playing. Right. So and the same thing with the poker hand comparator. Notice I don't have a comparator for five card poker. Um, that's distinct from Hold'em. And the reason why is because, exactly because of the, uh, the classification. The classification uh, keeps track of the cards in the hand that are live and, and participating in the hand, and that's what's used for the um, poker hand comparator. Okay? And the poker hand comparator really, um, you know, we went through this in, in the last video, it's used when the classifications differ and you need to do a tie break, that's when you call into these methods to compare two hands that have the same classification, right? For example, two straights or two flushes, and you need to compare them, okay? So there's classifying and comparing hands. That's what this code, that's what all of this code does, okay? So the last thing I really want to show you guys here is uh, in my main, I did some experiments. Some of them I thought would pique your interest. Uh, you can see the output here. Um, and you can go ahead and, and see what each of these experiments do. The first one does a simple classification of Hold'em hands. And here's the frequencies. You can check if these frequencies are valid um, against any uh, sort of website. I'll provide these two uh, resources in the description box that tell you what the odds are of being dealt various hands or various different whole cards. Um, so, uh, you know, this will tell you the probabilities right here, frequency of seven card poker hands. I, I linked this in the description box in the last video. I'll link it again. Um, so you can compare my results against these um, frequency, uh, against this probability table. Um, and also, uh, for example, in the second experiment, you can say, hey, I'd be really curious to know um, how often will I be dealt pocket aces? Well, I report that probability right here. Uh, so you can do other experiments with this code that you might think are, in, are interesting. So like pocket ace percentage is 0.452%. And here we can see from this table uh, probability of being dealt pocket aces 0.5%. So that matches... 
um, another one. Let's just take a quick look uh, at the probability of being dealt a pocket pair, 5.8%. Uh, probability of being dealt any pocket pair, 5.88%. Okay, so, um, okay guys, so uh, I would encourage you to go to my GitHub repository, check this source code out. It's really not too hard or dif it's not difficult to understand. Um, I think it's fairly straightforward. Uh, it's mainly a refactoring from the code that we walked through in the last video. Uh, so uh, try it out uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, as always, please uh, rate, comment, like, and, and subscribe. Thank you so much.